Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. So last Yandere Simulator episode, I did what I had to do. I got S rank. I was super happy. Woohoo, right? No, because a lot of people in the comments were saying, Jay, the S rank is not the true ending. You gotta get the S plus ending. Plus, you're gonna get a bonus scene. And I'm like, bonus scene? Are you kidding me? Bonus scene? You want me to do all this again to get a bonus scene? I still shiver at the thought of how long it took me to get that S ending. But you know what? Just for you all, because you're my people and I love you, I'm actually gonna do this all over again. I have to eliminate the people the way Ryoba told me to do. So we're gonna get that S plus rank ending in this episode. If you guys cool with that? You down with that? Everybody get ready and Buckle up, because here we go. Okay, we've seen this one before, everybody. Basically, she's going to give a bento to Senpai, but we just got to make sure that we put some nasty shit in it so his head is in the toilet. I know exactly how to do that, but before we do anything, let me do the settings. I actually don't like the filter. I'm not a filter fan. I'm not going to lie. Actually, wait. I kind of like the blue tint, though. The blue tint is litty on me titties. All right. So we just got to steal the hairpin and we got to steal the, the blah, 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 blah. hold on. I'm trying to one take Jay this. We got to steal the hairpin and then we got to steal that thing from the teacher's lounge. Then we got to make a lock pick. We got to steal. Is it the rat poison from the shed? Yeah, because we don't want to make senpai a little sleepy ass. So let me jack that and let me yoink a little bit of that. I can't believe he didn't catch me stealing. He didn't catch me slipping. What a dumb bitch. Okay, so let's use the lock pick. And let's get this rat poison. This one should be easy. I forgot what the Tuesday event is, but I'm pretty sure the Wednesday event is the one with the book. Thursday, I think they're going to go see a movie, so I have to give a sedative in her bento so she falls asleep. And then Friday, I actually can't remember what Friday is, but obviously we're going to get through it. Okay, so let's open this. And then is it contraband? No, it's not contraband. It's bento. Steal bento, right? Do I steal bento? I stole bento. And then I think that we, uh, holy shit, I actually forgot what to do. I gotta go put the bento inside of Senpai's desk, right? I think so. Because if I poison the bento that's in her bag and leave it, it's gonna be sabotaging her bento. So I gotta fuck you, Senpai. I mean, I love you, Senpai. I, I love you. Okay, add a medic poison and leave a romantic note. All right, here comes Sen Daddy right now. He got the bento. Put a little scoop in the mouth. There you go. We got instant rat poison too. That shit hits you right in the guts. Gives you bubble guts and shit. Let me see his face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Little bitchitis. Boy suffering from little bitchitis. That sounds nasty. Like that shit makes me want to gag. Yeah, you better wash your hands. You better rinse your mouth out too. Bet you got some hot ass breath. Damn, that shit's thing. I can smell that all the way from here. All right, Senpai's coming up. He's gonna give the rival an earful, hopefully. Let's see what he says. Come on. Hey, Senpai, did you like the bento? Um, well, what's wrong? Hey, that bento. Was that a prank or something? Huh? What do you mean? It made me throw up. Like, immediately. What? I'm so sorry. I don't know how this happened. As long as you didn't do it on purpose. It's no big deal. Well, I'm going home now. Oh, okay. Bye. You have sabotaged one of your rival's interactions with Senpai. You must sabotage four more of their interactions in order to foil your rival's love confession on Friday. Okay, so we're on the right track. We just got to figure out what we do on Tuesday. Okay, so this is actually the book one. It's not on Wednesday. So we just have to steal the book, and then she's going to have no idea where the hell it is, and she won't be able to give it to Senpai, and he's going to have a little attitude. Yandere Dev, please make time go by a little bit faster when you do this shit, please. Okay, so I'm going to steal the bag. What? Someone's watching this bitch? Okay, so books. Which one is it? Steal borrowed book. And that's it. Okay, now we fast forward to 515 because we jacked that shit. Um, Senpai, I have bad news. I'm not sure how it happened, but somehow I lost the book. I searched everywhere, but I wasn't able to find it. So it's just gone now. Told you he got that attitude. I'm so sorry. I'll buy you a new one, I swear. You don't have to bother doing that. It was special to me because it was a gift from my sister. There's no point in replacing it. It wouldn't really be the same book. I'm just gonna go now. I'm sorry, Senpai. I'm so sorry. You have sabotaged two of your rival's interactions with Senpai. You must sabotage three more of their interactions in order to foil your rival's love confession on Friday. Okay, so Wednesday, I actually have no clue what it is. It might be the movie thing, or that might be Thursday, but let's find out. Hey, Senpai, I brought something to school that I want to share with you. Okay, I actually forgot what this is. Oh, sounds fun. What is it? I'm dying to show you, but I have plans this morning, so I'll have to show you later. Will you be free around lunchtime? I can show you then. Sure, I don't have any plans for lunchtime. What the hell are we supposed to do with this one? Great, let's meet up on the school rooftop then. Man, what could it be? Now you got me all curious. 
I'm curious too. What the hell? It's fun to look forward to a surprise, isn't it? Well, I gotta run. See you later, senpai. Wait, what are we supposed to do? See you at lunchtime. Okay, are we supposed to make sure that she doesn't see senpai at lunchtime? Like some sedative type shit? I don't know. I remember one of the days we had to use a sedative. I think we were supposed to make her a sleepy ass right before they go to the movies or something. I can't remember. But I think I gotta do something so she doesn't meet Senpai at lunchtime, but I don't know what to do. You know what? I'm just gonna follow her real quick. I wanna see exactly what she does. So she put her bag down, and what is this? Oh, put narcotics in the box, put cigarettes, put condoms, put alcohol. Okay, um, I actually have to go back. I have to go back home. Because I didn't even know I was supposed to do any of this shit. Where's the convenience store? There it is. Okay, condoms, please. Yes! Okay, we got some condoms. I mean, I've never been happier to get some condoms, but damn. We got some for $1.99. I'm so freaking happy that we can put it inside of the box. I did not want to have to restart the week. I apologize. I am not that happy to be getting condoms, but damn. I'm so happy that I don't have to restart that bullshit ass week. All right, so now we're going to put the condoms in the box. So there you go. Locked and loaded. I can't believe she doesn't look in the box right before she gives it to Senpai. Like, if I give anybody a gift, I quadruple check if it's the right shits. Because if it's not, then I'm going to feel so much embarrassment. But you know what? I'm going to feel that secondhand embarrassment on the roof because we're going to see what happens when Senpai gets a box full of condoms. Hey, Senpai, are you ready for the surprise? It's in this box. Open it. Open it. Okay, here goes. I'm opening the box now, and... Oh, wow, I definitely didn't expect to see something like this. Huh? What's wrong, senpai? Like I said, you gotta quadruple check your shits. Um, I have to be honest with you. I'm not really interested in this sort of thing. Yeah, my man senpai is celibate. You're not? But I thought... Please don't try to share this type of stuff with me again, okay? Sorry, senpai. I didn't realize you'd take offense to it. Yeah, well, anyway... Enjoy your lunch, I guess. Senpai said, I'm team virgin on three. One, two, three. 60% of the way through, two more to go. Hey, Senpai, looking forward to the movie later tonight? Okay, I know exactly what to do with that one. So this is the movie one. We got to make sure that she doesn't meet Senpai. So we have to put a sedative inside of her bento. And I know exactly how to do that. So we're going to yoink this. We're going to take that. Make a lock pick one time for the homie DJ Screw. And we just got to make sure our baby's not looking. So she's over there. We're going to use the lock pick. Open this bad boy up. Take the Trank. So now all we gotta do is put sedative poison inside of the bento and I believe that she just goes to sleep because um she might just sleep right after she eats the bento but I also think that she sleeps after she goes to cleaning? I don't remember. But whatever, let's just follow her and see what she does but I believe that she falls asleep twice. Alright, so she's eating the bento and she's probably gonna go to the nurse's office. Because it's going to be instant sedative. Yep, there you go. I need you to be a sleepy ass. Yeah, go ahead and be a sleepy ass. Yeah, like I said, she's going to go to the nurse's office and she's going to be a sleepy ass. All right, so it's 412. I'm just trying to get my social points up. It's a plus nine right now because I'm just doing it for the future rivals. But yeah, she's a little sleepy ass over in the nurse's office. I don't think that she's going to wake up anytime soon. So let's close the doors because, you know, it's basically like we're tucking her in and, you know, reading her lullaby story or whatever the fuck it's called. And yeah, let me do a little bit of the assignments, like the task things. So just in case for the future rivals, I don't have to do other shit. So I think it's you, right? Is it you? Are you the one who's at the pool? I can't remember. You all look the same. 80% of the way through, 20% left to go. It's the final day. Let's find out what we have to do on Friday. Hey, senpai, you don't seem like your usual self today. Is something wrong? Yeah, he's around your toxic energy all week. Well, yeah, I'm worried about the test we're going to have before lunch today. I took a lot of notes in class in preparation for this test, but somehow I lost all the notes I took and now I can't study before the test. Why don't I remember this one? I can help, senpai. I'll share my notes with you. So this is easy. All we gotta do is just wait for her to do things and we just take it away from her last second. So sabotage notes. There you go. And we left the romantic note. Hi, senpai. Did my notes help you? Uh, well, I'll just be honest. You're an idiot. I'm sorry, but your notes didn't help me at all. Huh? Why not? What was wrong with my notes? Nothing that you wrote down was correct. Everything was wrong. Honestly, I thought it was a prank or something. What? No, I wouldn't pull a prank like that on you. I aced the test, so I don't think there was anything wrong with my notes. Aren't you two in different grades, though? Because the lower the level of the classroom, the lower the grade, right? Well, I guess I just have to do a better job of taking my notes next time. Oh, there won't be a next time. I promise you there won't be a next time. Okay, here comes Senpai running up. The rival knew she's been fucking up all week. But she's still gonna confess her love anyway. Damn, she's brave. 
I would have just went home and hid under the covers for the rest of eternity. Your rival confesses her feelings to Senpai. Damn, this shit awkward. Senpai rejects your rival's confession. Oh, damn, I feel sad. I mean, if I was a good person, I'd feel sad, but I'm so damn evil. So that was the longest elimination ever. That shit legit took me an hour and 18 minutes. But we eliminated the first rival, and the next few rivals we've already seen in previous episodes. The only one I really had a problem with was the matchmaking one. So let's just go through these other rivals really quick. There you go. She's going to pour it out, and let's get litty, baby. What I'm about to do is I'm about to whoop some ass right now because I need that fake ID from the Yakuza guy. Because I know I got to expel one of the people. Hold on. Let me do a roll. Did I not do a roll? Oh, I did the high yayas though. I did the high yayas though. I'm about to get clapped. I'm about to get clapped. Hold on. Hold on. I got to stop talking before I get clapped. Before I get the clapper. Before I get the 4 p.m. clapper. Okay. So we're just going to do a little slap boxing real quick. And you know what we do. Hold on. Let me get the flurry. Let me get that flurry. Oh. oh, yeah. You want some? You want some? You want some? Yeah. Okay. So I just need the fake ID from the Yakuza guy. Because later on in this episode, we're going to have to expel one of the students. So I'm just getting stuff ready I, until then. Okay, I'm not so good. let's talk so to the Yakuza guy. Oh my god. What you wanted. I can't like believe this. I accidentally got the I wrong thing. I accidentally got the wrong thing. I need to go to the freaking maid cafe and I need to make some money. So everybody knows what the third rival is about. We just got to crush this geek with the bookcase inside of the library. Okay, I earned a little bit of money from the maid like cafe thing. So we're going to get some contraband. We're going to get some fake ID. And then we got to get the stuff from the convenience store just for the future. So we're going to get cigarettes. We're going to get alcohol. We're going to get sleep medicine, I guess. And a little bit of the rat poison, just because. You know, all my homies love rat poison. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, 90% of the time I do commentary in these videos. I just say shit. Okay, so this is the girl that I got to put rat poison inside of her bento, right? This one isn't the a athlete, fit, boys, because she all she does is eat healthy course, shit. So we just got to put an extra little supplement inside of that healthy food. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn on the radio. Sumiko Tachibana hears the radio. That's her, right? Okay, cool. That's her. And I believe that if we have her distracted, everybody else should be leaving pretty soon, right? Because it doesn't take long for these fuckboys to make a bento. Come on, man. You're not even putting anything in there. Man, these people just fucking with me. Poison that one? Nah. Poisoning this one. There you go. We just poisoned that. Nobody saw that. Oh, shit. That guy almost saw it. Wait, I was supposed to put the lethal poison, huh? Oh, man. I'm taking so many L's right now. Okay, so let's turn on the radio. And nobody's going to notice me. Because nobody noticed me the first time. So we're just going to wait for her. And then we are going to poison. Lethal poison. There you go. Because that's the lethal weapon, baby. And now she's going to get poisoned. For real this time, I promise. There you go. That's what I like to see. You guys seeing this? Huh? You losers seeing this? Your homie's choking. Yep. She's choking. And it's not me. You guys found the corpse. That ain't me. I'm out of here. All right, so check this out. Remember when I told you to do the tasks for the people as you're going through the rivals? Now I'm on the fifth rival. Her sleepy ass is right there. I am going to tell all these people to go away. I want them to go away. And then I want you to go away. And the reason why I'm showing you all this is because they're already my friends. Like, we already did the task for them. So we don't need to do it by the time we're on the fifth rival. We can just ask for the favor and tell them to go away. And this is pretty much going to be the easiest shit ever. So everybody's gone. And nobody's looking. Yeah. All those fuckboys aren't looking. I'm going to speed up time a little bit because I don't want to rush. And then we are just going to push her into the water and we're going to get the fuck out of here. Sixth rival is easy to eliminate. Pretty shocking, I know. Okay, so the seventh rival is the girl where I have to expel her from school. If I do the narcotics thing, I don't think that we're going to get an S plus rank because that's basically like a one shot kill type of thing. So I'm actually going to do it the natural way, which is day by day. So let's go. Okay, so let's open her bag up contraband put alcohol into bag and then we with. report That's a alcohol very serious accusation i hope you're not lying to me hopefully it's just a misunderstanding i'll investigate the matter i don't want to bore you with all this because basically it's a rinse and repeat it's just a different object every single day so yeah i just got to keep doing that through all the days and then she's going to be expelled i actually want to see what she's going to say if i report the condoms thank you for bringing this to my attention I'll have to have a word with her later today. Whatever you do in the privacy of your own home is none of my business. But there's no reason for you to bring something like this to school. No, I've never seen these things before, I swear. Okay, that's all she says. All right. I'm fast forwarding time and these teachers aren't going away. I don't know what time they actually start heading to their classrooms. Okay, 8.15. That's when they start heading. And then that one teacher's there, right? So this is what I gotta do. I gotta turn this on. No, wait, 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 wait. 
I gotta turn it on when she goes here. There you go. Okay. So let's speed up time a little bit. And then let's turn this bad boy on. Please tell me she can hear that. She can't hear that? How can she not hear that? Hold on. Let me giggle. <laughs> there you go. And then let's turn this radio on. There you go. And then let's start stealing this shit. Oh, wait. She can see that? How the hell can she see that? Okay. Now we gotta go. All right. So let's do a little bit of... Oh, I don't actually have to press the buttons. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What are you talking about? What are you looking at? Okay, we yoinked that. And now we're about to go in here and we're going to report that. Holy shit. What can I Wait. help you with? How do we report the cheating? Okay, so contraband, put answer sheet into bag, and now we can report it. There I you have go. Report the cheating claim. and she's going to investigate that. We just got two more days to go. And then we got to do the arrival where we have to just gossip about her. These are two of the most boring eliminations back to back. I wouldn't wish this shit on my worst enemy. What's this inside of your desk? An answer sheet. You're cheating. Unacceptable. Come with me. Obviously, we need to have a long talk about the kind of behavior that will not be tolerated at this school. Wah, 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 wah. I think I can steal the ring if I can just get this asshole to leave. Okay, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it. Who's watching? Who's watching? I stole it. I stole it. Okay, I'm a thief. I'm a good for nothing thief. Okay, so we are just going to put this ring inside the bag. Can I hold it? Is that true? I'd hate to think we have a thief here at school. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. And I can't believe we're done with this. That shit took forever. May I take a look inside your bag? This doesn't seem to belong to you, does it? What are you doing with someone else's property? No! I'm not the one who did this! I would never steal from anyone! Doesn't the counselor find it suspicious that the top student at Academy, all of a sudden, by a freaking coinky dink, I've given has all this shit in chances. her bag every single you day of the week? She wouldn't give her the benefit of the doubt? And ignored every warning that I have given you. You have left me with no choice but to permanently expel you. No, please, don't do this! Out of all the eliminations, besides all the rivals giving Senpai a bento every single Monday, this one is the biggest stretch of them all because the top student at Academy all of a sudden, just randomly one week, has all this contraband inside of her bag every single day of the week. Like, if I was somebody with a good reputation for having good grades and, you know, being on time and being the top student at Academy, if I was the counselor, I would find that shit a little bit sus that all these things are happening to her. I would think that somebody is behind it all. But you know what? I'm not a counselor. We got rid of the rival. On to the next one. Okay, so now Kamako withdrew from Academy High just because I gossiped to a bunch of sheep that obviously believed whatever the hell I said. I could have said that King Kong's dong is patrolling through the city and they would have been like, Oh my god! Okay, this is the one that I was having trouble with last time. So we are going to read her diary. And she likes justice, reading, solitude, family, and nature. She dislikes drama, occult, cats, violence, and gossip. She likes boys who have ponytails, boys who have piercings, boys who wear shades, boys who tan their skin. She doesn't like dark hair. She likes boys who wear a lot of jewelry. And she admires men who have a lot of courage. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of that. And hopefully I can match make them this time because this is the one that I couldn't do. I got to figure out which one's the guy that likes her. Is it you? It's gotta be you, right? Yeah, okay. So, we are gonna talk about Chigusa. Do you have a crush on the student? Oh, you can tell? Yes, I have a crush on her. Okay. Well, I'm gonna matchmake you. No, not you. I'm talking about you, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna give you advice on your appearance. So, she likes guys who have ponytails. She likes guys who have piercings. She likes guys who wear shades. She likes guys who tan their skin. She likes boys who wear a lot of jewelry. And she admires a man that has courage. So I think that's good. So let's confirm that. This is what she's attracted to. So that's what she's into. I see. Let me just sit here acting like I don't know anything. My guy is coming up right now. I taught him well. He still got that fuckboy run, but don't we all? And let's see what happens. Please. Yes. They're talking. They're loving it. They're doing it. Yes, they're doing it. Oh, there we go. Matchmaking results. Your rival likes your suitor's hairstyle. Your rival likes her suitor's piercings. Your rival likes her suitor's glasses. Your rival likes her suitor's tan. Your rival likes her suitor's hair color. Your rival likes her suitor's jewelry. Your rival enjoyed what her suitor said about justice. Your rival enjoyed what her suitor said about drama. Your rival enjoyed hearing you look sexy today. Your rival appreciated receiving a bracelet. Your rival didn't really care when her suitor tried to show off his courage. What? 
Your rival's affection for the suitor increased by 52 points. 38 more points are required in order to make your rival fall in love with her suitor. Okay, so I thought she liked people with a lot of courage. Well, we just got 38 more points to go. So if we just do what we do, we're going to eliminate this rival easily. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please. 12 more points are required in order to make your rival fall in love with her suitor. Okay, I think this is going to work. It's got to work. We got the whole gang cheering this man on. If my homies don't act like this, I don't want these homies. It says your rival is now in love with her suitor. She will confess to him at 5 p.m. on Friday. Okay, so it's Friday. We just got to fast forward time and let's see what happens wait that's regular senpai wait what i don't get it i really don't get it we match made the other two people why the hell is senpai right there <gasps> no wait okay i think i did it right this time because this time she's not going to senpai's locker she's going to the fuck boys locker well they're both fuck boys but I had to restart the week, and then I had to get her to fall in love with the new guy before Friday. So if anybody's glitching out, or she's still confessing to Senpai, try to do it before Friday. Thank you. Oh my god, your rival meets with her suitor under the Sakura tree. Oh god, thank you, please. She confesses that she has developed deep feelings for fuck, thank you. God, please. Oh, I was stuck on this one. Yeah, get some tongue action. There you go. Do whatever the hell you're gonna do. Just please get out of my face. Just eliminate this damn rival for the love of everything that is holy. Come on. God damn it. Ryoba considers confessing her love to Senpai, but she cannot build up the courage to speak with him. And Ryoba follows Senpai out of school. Okay, so we eliminated that rival. Thank goodness. We got one more to go. It's the one about the evil photographer. You guys have seen it many times. So let's fast forward to what the judge says. Kaguya confessed to Senpai, but was rejected by him. She has nothing to do with Ryoba Senpai at this point in time. Moeko was burned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Honami was crushed to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Sumiko was poisoned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Ritsuko drowned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Ai was electrocuted to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Teiko was expelled from Academy. Ryoba's involvement is not suspected. Komako was bullied until she withdrew from Academy. Ryoba's involvement is not suspected. Chigusa entered a relationship with someone other than Senpai. She is currently in a happy relationship with the boy. Sonoko made friends with Ryoba. She testified in court that Ryoba is a good person and would never commit murder. After Sumide's disappearance, the police were called to Academy a total of five times. The police discovered a total of five corpses at Academy. Ryoba made 41 friends at Academy. Ryoba's reputation at school is 107. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her doing something sus zero times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her carrying a dangerous weapon around school zero times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her walking around in bloodstained clothing zero times. Zero students testified that they witnessed Ryoba commit murder. And Taking let's see all of what the happens. facts into consideration, it is clear beyond any shadow of a doubt that Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges. Yeah, buddy. Come on, turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Oh my god! Thank you! A murder thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kills in the name of love. <sighs> it was a novel concept. I am so happy about that. Newspapers realized it would get sales. TV stations realized it would boost ratings. Just gonna see what happens here. Maybe there's gonna be some new dialogue. It didn't take long for the news of my murder trial to spread across the entire nation. I've never seen an event get that much coverage before. It was a real media circus. And now, everyone in the country knows my name and face. Even worse, they all know how I feel about my senpai. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. I didn't want him to learn about me like this. I wanted our first meeting to be special. Perfect. Exactly like in my dreams. But now, that can never happen. He'll never be able to see me as a cute underclassman who has a crush on him. He'll only be able to see me as that girl who was accused of murder on national TV. 
If I confess my love to him now, I doubt he'll want anything to do with me. Even though I was declared innocent, there will always be doubts in his mind. That stupid journalist ruined absolutely everything. There's nothing I want more than to rip his heart out and shove it down his throat. But spilling any blood right now would only attract more attention. There are too many eyes on me right now. I have to lay low for a while. Revenge isn't an option at this point in time. But I'll never forget what that man did. I won't be able to have a romantic confession underneath a cherry tree. But this isn't over yet. I still have one option remaining. My last resort. All right. Let's see if we missed anything. Bonus content it's or whatever. It's unfortunate that things turned out like this. But I was left with no other choice. I would have been crushed if he rejected me. So, I had to take away the option. Our relationship might be awkward for a little while. But we'll get through it together. After all, I know all of his likes and dislikes. <laughs> I'm sure he'll warm up to me soon. Ah, <sighs> there's a part of me that wonders, what was the point of all the hard work I just did if I was just going to kidnap him in the end? But, despite the way things turned out, I don't think the past eleven weeks were a waste at all. I learned so many new things and gained so many new skills. I'm sure I'll be able to find a way to put all of my knowledge and talents to good use. And, one day, I can pass down everything I know to my son or daughter. <laughs> There's still so much There better be some extra content. Besides that plus next to the S, there better be some extra content. Senpai, I'm back from the star. I made sure to buy all of your favorite... Senpai? Senpai! No, no, no. This can't be happening. Senpai! Senpai! Where are you? Oh, no, no, no. Why would you leave me? I thought we were making progress. I thought you were finally starting to... Oh, wait. What? The letter? Dear Ryobaishi, we have taken... Your senpai out for some fresh air. What? We have no intention of harming him. Why would they we kidnap will return him? him to you, but first, boy got kidnapped twice. Test. Come to the row of abandoned warehouses outside of town. We will be in warehouse eighteen seven nine. Bring whatever you want with you, but come alone. You have. One hour. Signed, Saisho Psycho, CEO and founder of Psycho Corp. Why would he kidnap Senpai? I mean, you might be having a bad day, but he got kidnapped twice. He got kidnapped and then he got kidnapped after being kidnapped. Like, you can never have a bad day like that. So, what's this timeline shit? 1780. The first Aishi is born in 1780? God damn! 1928, Saisho Psycho was born. And 1933, Ryoba's grandmother is born. 1939, World War II begins. What, are you gonna tell me these mother suckers fought in World War II? 1945, the United States of America invades the Japanese island of Okinawa. Saisho Psycho was present at the Battle of Okinawa. World War II ends. Saisho Psycho becomes very active in helping to rebuild post-war Japan. 1946, Saisho Psycho decides that the best way to help his country is with his engineering knowledge. Saisho Psycho starts an electronics repair shop. Saisho Psycho starts a company named Psycho Corp. Saisho Psycho invents Japan's first tape recorder. 1950, Ryoba's grandmother finds her senpai. 1953, Ryoba's grandmother buys a house in Buraza, a small town near Tokyo. Ryoba's mother's born. 1954, Psycho Corp releases the world's first transistor radio. 1960, Kocho Shuyona is born. 
1961, Psycho Corp releases the world's first compact videotape recorder. 1967, Psycho Corp releases the world's first integrated circuit radio. 1968, Psycho Corp releases the world's first TV set. 1969, a man is born who would later become an investigative journalist. Holy shit, there's so much. I think I gotta read this to myself. Ryoba was born 1971. And then Ryoba's sister was born 1976. In 1979, Saisho Corp releases the world's first portable cassette tape player. Saisho Psycho's son is born. He is named Ichiro. 1981, Psycho Corp releases the world's first compact disc player. In 1984, Saisho Psycho orders the construction of a post high school academy near Baraza Town. The academy is named Academy. Psycho Corp renovates numerous houses in Barraza Town for free, including Ryoba's home. 1985, Kocho Shuyona is interviewed by Saisho Psycho and is appointed the headmaster of Academy. 1986, Academy officially opens. And you guys can all read that because there's so much to read. And I'm one take Jang this shit. So in 1989, Ryoba eliminates every girl who seeks to enter a relationship with Senpai. And uh, she's declared innocent. Ryoba Senpai is abducted by Psycho Corp. There's a bunch of question marks. Ryoba marries her Senpai, so I guess she got him back. 1990, Ichiko Psycho mysteriously disappears. Interesting. 1994, Ryoba's sister finds her Senpai. Psycho Corp begins manufacturing video game consoles. Ryoba's sister eliminates every girl who seeks to enter a relationship with her Senpai. Ryoba's sister marries her Senpai. 1995, Kocho Shiyona observes Ryoba entering the office of Shaiso Psycho. Ichiro Psycho enrolls in Academy. 2003, a woman falls in love with an investigative journalist who accused Ryoba of murder. Taro Yamada, I mean, Taro Yamada is born. 2004, Ryoba gives birth to a daughter. She is named Ayano. So wait, Senpai is the son of the journalist? I'm so confused. 2020, an urban legend is born about a mysterious hacker and information broker named Infochan. 2021, Ayano Aishi enrolls in academia. In 2022, the Psycho family announces to the world that Saisho Psycho has passed away at the age of 94. Ayano Aishi finds her senpai, which is the current day Yandere simulator. So that's who we're playing as right now. So no more 1980s mode. Your boy is officially done. I S plus rank that bitch. Okay, so no more Yandere Simulator 1980s mode. We are going to go back to playing the current day Yandere Simulator whenever there's more updates. Can't believe that we did that. Let me know what you all thought about that timeline and the extra content that you all saw. From what I understand, Taro is the son of the journalist? Taro's the son of somebody. That's all I know. I mean, everybody's the son of somebody, right? But yeah, your boy S plus ranked that. I mean, I don't think that was ever in any doubt. You know, your boy could do it and he did it. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. If you're excited about the next episode of Yandere Simulator, hopefully you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!